Hi guys, welcome to another video with Mel. Today I have a comic haul for you. Uh, so today was new comic book day, yay. I'm actually doing this on time for once. There's a first for everything. Um, hair has changed a bit, might have noticed that cut, so I have a lot less now. So I've got a couple comic books from my little comic book store, and then I have a couple I picked up in the library. These are pretty much brand new. Awesome, love my library system. Norfolk libraries are awesome. So, show you the library ones first, and then I'll show you my ones from my local comic book store, Abstract Sprocket. So, what I got for today is, they didn't have volume one, unfortunately, but I thought I'll get two and three, because they were there. Um, and this is Tank Girl, volume two and three. I have never read any Tank Girl before, but um, one of my friends, Hannah, posted on Facebook um, a while ago some Tank um, Girl art, and I went, ooh, that looks nice, what's that from? And found out. So I'm very interested to kind of check this out. Um, I don't know which version of Tank Girl this is because I know there are probably multiple versions like every other comic. Um, but yeah, so if you know, tell me about it. Let's see if it has anything. This is by Titan. Uh, this is from 2008, so this will be an older version of it. I know there's a current version coming out right now, which I think is called Tank Girl Gold. Um, I've seen it in the comic book store, and I've nearly picked it up, but I thought I'll read the ones from the library first, see how I got on with it, and then possibly start checking those out when there's a trade paperback. So I got those two to read. They're pretty hefty volumes, so they should take me a while. Excited about those. And then I also managed to get... Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur Cosmic Cooties, which is, I believe, Volume 2. I do not have this one. Um, I read Volume 1 um, in a bit, and then I started collecting the issues, but I missed out the ones in Volume 2, so I needed to read those as well. So, managed to get this from the library. That's awesome. Great things to be able to get your uh, comics at your library rather than having to buy all the volumes. So, Brand new as well. Very excited to read that. Okay, let's move on to my local comic book pickup. So, my pull list wasn't very big this week. Last week I got loads of comics, but I forgot to show you guys. But yeah, I picked up all the all the normal ones. Um, had some Squirrel Girl in there. Came back really late from my Slimming World meeting. Just didn't feel like doing it. So, um, I'll show you when I've read them. So, I've got three today. I'm uh, going to start with Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat. This is the penultimate issue. Um, this is issue number 16. Apparently, it's going to end at issue number 17, which is my lucky number, which is sad. This is one of my favorite comics. And I'm really, really upset that apparently it's ending in April. Like, really upset about it. So I'm hoping Patsy Walker will be featured in another comic. I hope we get some Hellcat. I know we've had a little touch of it. Um, and the new Hulk comic with She-Hulk but I didn't like that version because it was just too serious. I like this happy-go-lucky Patsy Walker. Um, I'm very interested in other things by this artist because I really like her style so I'm hoping there'll be more. I'm very upset this is ending though. I wish it wasn't because this is one of my favorite comics. I think after Squirrel Girl and Slam this is probably my third favorite comic right now. And it, it, it sucks that it's ending, but I know all good things must come to an end and all that, but still, I don't want it to be ending so soon. Oh, 16 issues doesn't seem like enough, so it's what it is. Um, I'm trying to find a replacement at the moment, so if you know any other comics that are kind of like the kind of goofiness of this and kind of cuteness of it, let me know. Uh, I can't find any other Marvel comics to kind of fit that. I did try the new America Chavez comic and I hated it. So, so don't recommend that one to me because I won't be buying that again. I don't know what it was. I just, I didn't like your character at all. And it's disappointing because I was really hoping that might be my replacement for this. But, nope. <laughs> Apparently not. Um, I'm still going to get Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur and whatnot. So, lots of different ones to try out. So... We'll have to keep looking, finding something new, hopefully. I'm sure Boom Comics will keep me um, in cute comics because that's what they tend to do for me. So, Not one for me at the moment with uh, the America comic, but I'm really going to miss Patsy Walker Hellcat. <sighs> Sadness. 
Uh, next one we have is one that is ongoing, so I'm happy that this one's ongoing at the moment. Hopefully it doesn't end soon as well, and that is the Great Lake Avengers, which I am loving. I'm looking forward to this issue so much because we left out a cliffhanger last time with Big Bertha, and I want to know what's happening with her. Um, yeah. Ugh. It was so good last time as well. You guys, if you're not reading Great Lakes Avengers, do get caught up because the last couple issues have been really, really good. And I think you're missing out if you're not reading this one. Especially if you like kind of the things with Patsy Walker, Hellcat, and um, Squirrel Girl and that kind of thing. This is kind of right up your alley. Um, and I like this take on it. The former version of this, the original version of Great Lakes Avengers, was very, very dark. This is not as dark. This is quite funny, quite fun. The illustrations are great. Will Robson got an autographed copy of the first issue from him. Great artist. Makes the characters more fun than they were previously. So it's a lot, lot better than uh, the previous one, I think. So if you were put off by how dark that one was, this is not the same type of comic. This is much, much better. Um, I like that it's not went so dark this time because that actually really helps this comic. So yeah, looking forward to more issues of this. Keep it going, Marvel. Do not cancel that one as well on me. Uh, then we got Deadpool the Duck, which I believe this is the last issue of Deadpool the Duck. Another one gone, um, but this was only a five-issue one. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. Uh, this was only a five-issue comic. Really enjoyed it. Um, like the funniness of the fact Deadpool and Howard the Duck got crossed over, because who would have thought that was going to ever happen? But I have enjoyed this comic. I uh, like the appearance of Rocket. Great stuff. Um, yeah, another one I'm going to be sad to see go because I would have liked a longer series on this, actually. It, it works for me. And I miss Howard the Duck. So it's a nice way of getting that back in there. Uh, and then we have Power Rangers, issue number 13 from Boom Comics. Got a whole bunch of Rangers dressed as Green Rangers. I don't know what's happening in this comic. Um... I reorganized my comics the other day and I put all the Power Rangers aside to read because I need to get caught up on it because I'm like really behind. I think I'm probably about five or six issues behind on this. Um, so yeah, I need to get caught up and find out what's actually going on here because there seems to be a bunch of Green Rangers. They seem to be sharing the Green Ranger power, which I'm wondering if it's a similar thing that happened in Power Rangers Pink where they shared Kimberly's power. So I'm wondering if that's happening in this one. Um, but yeah, interested to read this. I need to sit down and read all my Power Rangers comics gonna do that and back to the future i've got them literally in piles and i need to be reading them so yeah um so yeah that was my pickups for this week not very much but i think just the kind of right amount and they're all ones that i'm gonna want to read right away so that's quite cool uh sometimes i get comics and it's like oh i'll wait i'll wait and these ones are all ones i want to read straight away very excited about them so i thought i'll do my haul video early for you guys this week um so yeah that's it so, if you want to subscribe to my channel, click that subscribe button. It looks kind of like this. And check out my other videos. I do comic reviews most weeks. I uh, love talking about comics and other nerdy stuff. So, check out my channel and find something you might like on it. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Mel here. I really want you to subscribe, subscribe. Want you to subscribe, subscribe. Want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.